this uniform. Huh? Work comes with this, buddy. There's no such thing as a lazy panther. Lazy house cat. Five o'clock in the morning, you turn it over. But the white man is out training at four o'clock. So I'm trying to figure out what kind of revolutionary revolutionaries are we? We just want to be look good revolutionaries. Is that right? No? Brother said, not me. You ain't gonna talk to me like that. <laughs> Most of us, we just want to look good. But when it's time to do the work, we don't see you. We don't hear from you. We see your Facebook post about all your lies and all your fantasy activities you're doing. But we got people out here right in, in the city of Newark, boots on the ground, doing what's necessary to raise the minds and hearts of African people in the city of Newark. Black power? Black power. They're right here amongst you. And I know it's no different than Philly. No, it's no different than Trenton. No, it's no different than Texas. You see us in the street and you walk right by us. We're trying to save your life and you walk right by us like we don't even exist. But as soon as the pig harms somebody in your family, who do you call on? We just gonna be real tonight. You call us. And here we come to do whatever is necessary to fight for justice for black people. And some of us run, duck, hide. There was a young brother in Philly named Takeen Law, 14 years old. The young man was riding his bike on a Sunday, minding his business, going to the park. Four crackers in a car, driving behind the young brother, decided to put bullet holes in this young brother because he wasn't moving fast enough. So we went to the family. And the family <clears throat> was all with him. Wanted to do a rally and justice for my son. Until the white man came. Until the deaf hustling organizations came. And they said, you don't want to mess with them Panthers. They trouble. Mind you, we were the only ones to reach out to this family. The only one. So the day of the rally, I call the family. Y'all ready to go? Let's go. Want to know what they said? Oh, uh, we saw the article of you in the paper yesterday. We don't want to do this rally. We're going to wait to see what happens in court. And the cracker only got five years. Huh? I don't think y'all heard me. The cracker got five years. And he's going to do two and he's walking. If that. What are we going to do? Where are we going? Some of us are talking about repatriation. That's good, but you can't take your nigga mess back to Africa. Come on. Because that's all we're going to do. Take our buffoonery to Mother Africa. So the survival process, family, starts right here. Black power? Black power. It starts right here. Because if you can't break that chain, 
of the impregnation of the mental masturbation of white people, then you're going to be their nigga for the rest of your life. I'm sorry, but I'm tired of being a nigga. I'm tired of being a white man's nigga. Ain't you tired of being a white man's nigga? Yes, sir. Ain't you tired of being a Chinese's nigga? Yeah. Ain't you tired of being an Arab's nigga? Yeah. And I'm gonna say it, ain't you tired of being a Puerto Rican's nigga? Yeah. Huh. What are we gonna do? Our brains are registered to fight or flight. Most of us have decided to flight. So our condition that we are in right at this very minute, it's only one way out. And I'm gonna let y'all answer that. What's the way out? Somebody. Organize. Organize and fight. Fight. Organize and fight. See, we keep trying to get away from the fight part. You gotta fight this damn devil if you wanna be free. You're not gonna vote your way to freedom. Hmm. Ross Baraka can't give you that. Huh? <laughs> Donald Duck, I mean Donald Trump can't give you that. You got to fight. No more flight. Stand your ground and hold it down. Hold the line. So what is the future of the black race? What is our future? It's in our hands. It's in our hands. But it's so, if it's in our hands, how is the white man constantly pulling it and pulling and pulling? Huh? We become lazy. We become complacent. We became niggas. Well, it's time to get back to the God in you. It's time to get black to the earth in you, sisters. Black man, you want the black woman to respect us again? Fight this white man. Trust me what I tell you. Fight this cracker. Sisters, if your man ain't willing to fight, then he shouldn't be getting no nookie cookie no time soon until he decides that he's going to stand up and fight for the liberation of African people. Because that's all we have to do. You wasn't brought here to be no mayor. You wasn't brought here to be no police chief. No firemen. You was born here, we were born here to be slaves. Nothing more, nothing less. Not a football touchdown champion, not a damn slam dunk champion, not a home run champion, not a, 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 a hole in one champion. We were born here to be slaves. So as slaves, it's time to get the hell up off this plantation. We either gonna walk off the plantation or we gonna fight our way off this plantation. The choice is yours because those are the only options. There is no gray area. There is no in between. So I'm gonna ask this question. How many of us truly want to be free? Raise your black fist. So you know what you're going to have to do to get free, right? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. 
Damn it, if four of y'all could put five dollars together for a dub sack, you can get out here and raise the minds of these young brothers on the streets. Black power? Black power. If you can put three dollars to get a damn 40 ounce of, or some hitty, we can come together for some liberation. Can we not? Yes, sir. Is it that hard in the city of Newark? Is it that hard in Dallas? Is it that hard in Philly? Is it hard in New York? Is it hard in Chicago? Black people, we must do better. So every day you look at yourself, it starts with you. And if you ain't willing to revolutionize you, you in the way. You in the way. You are the problem. And as much as we try to run around here and talk about, I'm the solution, you ain't nothing. Because our babies are being slaughtered and nobody's doing a damn thing about it. Black power? Black power. Let's talk some real talk, man. Nobody doing nothing about it. We're trying to create more legislation. As I check, I don't stop crackers from killing. A legislative vote don't stop white people from killing African people. 